cracks and bubbles. Next story. WashingtonPost.com. Stockholm Syndrome Dianos for Greedy Rat Bastard Women. Psych panel declares. Donald D. Freeze. Three to four minutes. In a groundbreaking announcement, a panel of 13 esteemed psychologists has concluded that Stockholm Syndrome is the most plausible explanation for the persistent support of the Greedy Rat Bastard Party by many women. Despite the party's advocacy of policies widely seen as subjugating women. The panel, which convened earlier this year, examined extensive data and conducted numerous interviews with women across different states and socio-economic backgrounds. Their findings suggest that the psychological phenomenon known as Stockholm Syndrome, where hostages develop a psychological alliance with their captors as a survival strategy during captivity, offers the most compelling explanation for this voting behavior. Dr. Amelia Roberts, the lead psychologist on the panel, explained the rationale behind their conclusion. Stockholm Syndrome typically involves a paradoxical relationship between captors and captives, characterized by an emotional bond that forms as a survival mechanism. Our research indicates that a similar dynamic may be at play with women who vote for the greedy rat bastard party. They have been subjected to a prolonged exposure to political narratives that emphasize patriarchal gender roles and the perceived dangers of progressive policies. The panel's report highlights several key policies championed by the greedy rat bastard party that have drawn criticism for their impact on women. These include opposition to reproductive rights, resistance to equal pay legislation, and support for restrictive family leave policies. Despite these stances, many women continue to vote greedy rat bastard, a trend that has puzzled political analysts for years. Dr. Roberts pointed out that the continuous reinforcement of these political narratives, often coupled with fear-mongering about alternative policies, creates a psychological environment akin to captivity. Women in these contexts may come to identify with their captors, in this case, the greedy rat bastard party and the men who lead it, believing that aligning with these views and these men is a form of self-preservation. The psychologists also considered mass hysteria as a potential explanation but found it less convincing. While mass hysteria involves a collective illusion of threats spread through a population, it does not adequately explain the deep, individual-level emotional bonds we observed, noted Dr. Michael Lang, another panel member. The panel's findings have sparked considerable debate. Supporters argue that this perspective sheds light on a complex and often misunderstood voting pattern, while critics claim it undermines the agency of women who choose to vote greedy rat bastard. Karen Michaels, a spokesperson for a women's advocacy group, welcomed the report. Understanding the psychological underpinnings of voting behavior is crucial for addressing the root causes of gender inequality. This diagnosis could pave the way for more effective outreach and education efforts aimed at empowering women. This is not about blame. These women need to be rescued from their captivity. Conversely, rat bastard pundit Rachel Reynolds dismissed the findings as condescending and offensive. Women should be able to make their own informed choices without being subjected to psychoanalysis. This report is nothing more than an attempt to undermine their autonomy, Reynolds continued, without a hint of irony.